Hello, welcome to another video. This video requires a ton of differentiation and we're going to get to the third level and we're going to find what y prime prime is for this function. y prime 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 is for this function. So we're going to we'll be getting the third derivative um, at this point, but we're only given x equals 1. Okay? We're not given a point where we know what x is or what y is. So we have to first know what, what y be at that point. <laughs> okay, so um, before you start your differentiation, make sure you have a pair of points because you will need the pair of uh, points uh, for evaluating as you go on because your answer is going to contain x. It's going to contain or may contain x, y and y prime and y prime prime and y prime prime prime. So every possible... Um, expression that you could find is what you want to prepare for. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have x and you also have y and as soon as you get y prime make sure you evaluate and get y prime and then y prime prime and then y prime prime prime. Let's get into the video. So right now we're just going to get y from this equation using x equals 1. So if I substitute x equals 1 here, I'm going to have 1 squared plus 1 times y plus y cubed equals 1. Well, this tells me that y cubed plus y will be equal to 0. Okay, if I take this over here, that's what I'm going to get. Well, let's factor out y. So we have y into y squared plus 1 equals 0. And this tells me y equals 0. Or can this ever be 0? No. So there's no real number. There's no real value for which this will ever be 0. Or we can just say that y squared equals negative 1. You can see that that implies that y will be plus or minus the square root of negative 1, which is i, but we don't want to deal with this right now. So this entire part is not relevant. So the point that we're dealing with, so point is the point where x equals 1 and y equals 0. It's the point 1, 0. Okay, so we've, at least we've gotten the first point, so we know that when x is 1, y will be 0. Okay, now let's start our differentiation. We haven't differentiated, we just secured the point, and you see why I dismissed this, because this is going to be not real. What did I do here? y equals plus or minus i. <laughs> okay, now let's go here and start our differentiation. If we differentiate both sides, so we're going to start, we say d dx of x squared plus xy plus y cubed equals d dx of 1. Okay, so we're differentiating both sides. Now if we apply our simple differentiation um, power rule, this is going to be 2x and this is going to be plus. Now these are this is the product of two functions. Both of them are functions of x. So we're going to you apply the product rule. So remember the product rule. Keep the first, differentiate the second. Then plus Differentiate the first, keep the second. If you differentiate this, you get 1, but you have to keep this. So it should be 1 times y. So that's all you get. Now we go to the last one. This is y cubed. Well, remember that y is more like the function of x. Is a function of x. So you differentiate the outside first. So that's going to be plus um, 3y squared. But because y is a function of x, you have to differentiate the inside, which will be y prime. y prime. And if you differentiate a constant, you get 0. So this is what you get. And this has given us y prime. What's the value of y prime at this point? Well, you don't need to worry. Just plug in these two values there, and then you're going to get your y prime. Okay, let's do it here. So we're going to say 2x plus xy. So we're going to we're going to plug in these two numbers for this. I don't want to write it here because I need um, you know what? I can write it on this side. So, let's do this. 
this implies, okay, if I put one here for two, so it's gonna be two times one plus one times y prime plus one into y prime, okay, plus y, but y is zero, you see that? Then if I go here, this is going to be 3 times 0 squared y prime. That will be plus 3 times 0 squared. And then you have y prime will be equal to 0. Ooh. Okay. So this gives me 2 plus this is going to be y prime. And this is going to be 0, 0, oh, oh. So that tells me that y prime is equal to negative 2. So now I have another number that I can add to this. So the point is this. This is x. This is y. Or I can just make a list somewhere here, okay, just to make life easy. Say x equals 1, y equals 0, y prime equals um, negative 2. Okay, let's go to the second differentiation. Now we're gonna differentiate this again so we can get to y prime prime. Okay, so uh, if we differentiate this, you have two, just two. Let's move up. We have two, and then if we differentiate this, we apply the product rule again. You have to be careful. Apply the product rule, remember, keep the first, differentiate the second. X, Y prime prime keep the first, differentiate the second, then differentiate the first, keep the second. Differentiate the first, you get one, keep the second, y prime. Okay, now we move on to this one, plus. If you differentiate y, you're just gonna get y prime. Okay, you go to the next one. Differentiate this one now, what we're gonna do is just write the three and multiply by when we differentiate this. So remember the rule, Keep the first, differentiate the second. So that's going to be y squared times, the second will be y prime prime now, plus differentiate the first. So we're going to different, let's, let's put this here because we're not done, the three is outside. Okay, we're going to differentiate the first and then keep the second. How do we differentiate y squared? It will be 2y times y prime. Remember, because this is a function, so we'll differentiate first the outside, 2y, then we multiply it by the derivative of y, because it's a function of x, y prime, then we multiply it by what we have here, oh, y prime. You see where I said it's gonna get messy? And on the right-hand side, you have zero. So at this point, it's important that you clean things up because you still have one more differentiation to do. So it's recommended that you clean things up. So I'm gonna write two plus, this is gonna be x, y prime prime. I'm gonna add these two together. That's gonna be two y prime plus, I'm gonna distribute this. This is gonna be equal to three y squared y prime prime plus, 3 times 2 is going to be 6y. Well, you see, this is y prime times y prime, so it's going to be y prime squared. Be careful, this is going to be y prime squared equals 0. So that's what we've got. Now, at this stage, I can evaluate. Okay, I can evaluate, plug in x equals 1, y equals 0, y prime is negative 2, and see what happens. So let's evaluate. Okay, evaluating. So what I did here is what I'm gonna do here, but because I don't have enough space, uh, I'm just gonna do it here. So this is gonna be two plus one times y prime prime plus two times, what is y prime? Negative two, okay? Plus three times, what is y squared? or oh, y zero, zero squared y prime prime plus six times zero times negative two squared 
equals zero. So usually there will be some easy number for you to work with. Okay, so this zero will delete this entire term and this zero also here will delete everything. So you notice that what you're left with, let me just put it here, this implies that two plus y prime prime plus, sorry, minus four, yeah. So we have two plus y prime prime minus four equals zero. That tells me that y prime prime is equal to two. Okay, so I can go here and add to the list. Okay, let's do the final run. Now that we have all of these numbers here, let's differentiate this function one more time carefully. You differentiate this, you get zero. You differentiate this, you keep the first, differentiate the second. And then you reverse it, you differentiate the first, keep the second. If you differentiate this, you get one, and then you keep the second, y prime prime. We're done. We go to the next one. Well, you just differentiate this, it's gonna be two y prime prime. We go here, we keep the first, differentiate the second. So that's going to be plus 3y squared. Differentiate this, that's going to be y prime prime prime. Whoa, that's cool. And then you reverse the process. I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing, but this time I'm going to differentiate the first and keep the second. So that's going to be plus 3. Oh, if you differentiate the first, it's going to be 2 times 3 and that tells you it's going to be 6. So I'm going to change this to 6. Okay, 6y. But because this is a function of x, remember it to be times y prime, and then you keep the second y prime prime. So this could be the most confusing of all, okay? So this is going to be 6y, then y prime, because that's the derivative, is 6y, y prime. That's the derivative of 3y squared, and then you just keep the second. So we're done with that. Now let's go to this final one. It's gonna be, you do the same thing. We're gonna keep the first, differentiate the second. So it's gonna be six y. If you differentiate this, it's gonna be two y prime. But you have to differentiate the inside, y prime prime. Interesting. Plus, you differentiate the first and keep the second. That's easier. I differentiate y, it's going to give me y prime, and then I keep the second, which is y prime squared, and the end of it is zero. So let's clean this up and then we substitute. Or before we even clean this up, start looking for all the terms that contain y, because you're going to get a zero from there, and we don't want to carry that over, okay? So it's a safe way to say this is going to go to zero. Okay, if it contains y, it's going to become 0. This is going to go to 0. Uh, this is going to go to 0. Okay, I don't even care right now. Okay, so the rest of the terms do not contain 0. Now we can write them out. So this is going to be x, y prime prime prime, plus we can add these two together, it becomes 3y prime prime, and oh this is the only term left and you notice that this is y prime times y prime squared that gives you y prime cubed so we can write plus six y prime cubed equals zero so let's find this guy by just substituting the other numbers and we're going to see what we get so let's substitute we have one here so this is going to be y prime 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 plus three times, what is y prime prime? It's two, okay, plus six times, what is y prime? Negative two, negative two cubed equals zero. Ah, uh, break this up here. Okay, let's do this. Aha, and then what we have left is that, let's put this here. We now have y prime prime prime, plus six, this is gonna be negative eight. Yeah, negative two cubed is negative eight times six is negative 48. Okay, minus 48 equals zero. 
that tells you that y prime 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 equals 48 minus 6, which is equal to 42. So we can come here and say y prime 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 equals 42. Do you see how much dedication, how many times you have to use the composite rule or what you call the chain rule and how many times you have to use the product rule? When you're doing this kind of problems, you want to evaluate, you want to use the numbers because they're going to save you at the end. Don't wait till the end because they build up. You, you can just do the differentiation all the way to the last one, but when you want to evaluate, you have to go back to each of the equations that you created to evaluate each of the derivatives. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.